Previously on Spinelli Speaks. everyone, Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a bullet journal for 2021 and I am going to try to do plan with me's every month. So you can see here I am trying to pick out a good sticker to place on the front of my bullet journal. Now I will tell you I watched a lot of bullet journal uh, videos last year and I will tell you I am not as creative as those other wonderful artists are. <laughs> so this is my uh, attempt to uh, do a plan with me. I really am excited about doing these bullet journals. Um, I ended up picking the bibliophile uh, sticker. It just seemed like the right kind of sticker for the front of this uh, bullet journal. And it was actually a vinyl sticker, which I didn't realize it was vinyl until I pulled it out of that little plastic case there. But um, it turned out really nice and I think it'll stay uh, for the whole year because the journal itself is kind of like this almost velvety kind of um, cover. So I was worried that a sticker might not stick. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Like I said, I am no artist, so a lot of this is going to be pretty pedestrian. Now that said, I, as you can see, have Crayola markers. I do end up switching to some markers that my stepdaughter lent me later in the video, but realistically guys, I do not have special instruments to do these things. This is going to be a trial and error and who knows by the end of the year maybe we'll get an artist out of all of this. But I really just like bright colors. I like to use multiple colors. So you'll see uh, throughout the video that everything is quite bright. If you are new here, I do hope you stick around. Uh, this again is my first attempt at a bullet journal. I am excited about that. I am going to be doing lots of different reading this year and I'm hoping that this bullet journal uh, really gives me the opportunity to stay on track and uh, read the books that I'm really hoping to, to touch on. So I will kind of come back a little bit later and explain some more of what I have going on. decided that I wanted to give this page a little bit more color so I picked up a crayon and colored the whole page and realistically I don't know if I really liked it but it is what it is. I, I can't go back. So these are the 21 books that I want to read in 2021. Um, now you can see there I use a sharpie which went through the page which is a no-no um, but I it's tr again trial and error I just gotta find the right utensils or instruments to use for my bullet journal. Um, I did end up using like a um, stencil pack to create these letters and I like how they all really turned out. Um, I didn't really follow the lines too well when I was retracing them but I like how they turned out. I like the style and I definitely think I'll probably be using 
them throughout the bullet journal for uh, 2021. Now, if you haven't already seen that video of the 21 books I want to read in 2021, I'll go ahead and put it in the cards above. Um, I have a lot of books there, and I actually, um, you'll see in a little bit, I'm going to be buddy reading quite a few of them with um, some friends this year, so I'm really excited. kind of coloring in or um, drawing these books at first glance I was like oh wow this didn't really turn out the way I thought but once I had them all um, you know re-sketched in with the black marker and then later in colored I was pretty proud of uh, what I actually got on the page um, I just like the vibrant colors I like how everything looks a little bit different I'm glad I put the little teacups in there and ultimately I think it it looks nice now again I'm not an artist. I'm not good at drawing or any of those things, but realistically, this is my bullet journal and it's uh, here to, you know, be used throughout the year and um, I think that it looks great, so...
So then of course I wrote in the 21 books that I want to read and throughout the year I will either highlight them or um, check them off. Uh, and I will hopefully get them all read by the end of the year. notice here I literally wrote the eye of the world twice so I'm not quite sure which one I missed um, but I'll have to figure that out later then I have my buddy reads page I have a lot of buddy reads uh, scheduled uh, right away in this year and I was trying to limit the, those to two per month <laughs> But sometimes that doesn't always go as planned. So I do have um, anywhere from two to three buddy reads happening each month uh, as I go into 2021. So I wanted to have them all written down in one place because a lot of times what happens is I will have buddy reads and it'll just all be up in my head and I'll be like, who am I buddy reading with this month again? So instead of trying to, you know, scroll through Instagram messages or Voxer feeds, um, I will uh, use this page to uh, write down all of the buddy reads that I have. And I just really liked this really simple way of putting this on a page. I loved all the smiley faces and, um, and all of the colors again, of course. So um, this, this page was nice.
as you can see, the beginning of the year is jam-packed full of buddy reads. I also have some read-alongs, and uh, later you'll see that I'm actually going to be hosting another uh, read-along there in September and October. Now this is the last page that I have in the front of my bullet journal, kind of like the title pages. It doesn't have a month specific. It's more of uh, everything for the year. But uh, throughout the year, I, I randomly will have ideas that I want to maybe bring um, in the next year or just random things. So I wanted to have this uh, uh, two page spread and even three really if we turn the page to just put random ideas that I may have throughout the year that I might want to implement on my channel. All, um, later but just don't know uh, when that might be. And finally, we are actually going to be here in January. Now, again, I'm not that artistic, so it took me a while to get everything going and really um, understanding the amount of time that actually goes into creating a bullet journal. And that is why, as you can see, we are here in almost February showing you what I have for my January bullet journal. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if my February bullet journal um, comes out either right quick or <laughs> later in the month of February. But for January, I um, was trying to find something that I felt comfortable drawing um, and that I felt comfortable doing a couple of different times depending on the page. So I just went with like a weather theme. Um, here in Wisconsin, the weather's kind of been weird. Uh, we got some snow today, but I mean, we've had a pretty mild uh, winter where we really haven't had all that much snow. So it's been sunny, it's been rainy, it's been windy. So I thought, you know, why not just do a weather spread where we just look at a bunch of different weather elements and use that. Again, I also really like color, so it was nice to have um, a little bit of an incorporation of many colors, um, considering I just like to see color everywhere. 
Now for January itself, I did use blues um, and I liked doing that. It was nice to have something that was like matchy matchy. Um, and again, I really like the stencils that I used. Uh, you can really um, have a nice looking uh, lettering here. And for myself, I uh, have a really hard time coloring in the lines, as you can tell. Uh, these uh, markers that I use, um, which were my stepdaughters, um, they're like a brush marker so if they had been kind of misused they kind of bled out of the lines a lot um, so I had to kind of combat with that but other than that I think it turned out really nice um, and I definitely will be looking for new markers before I do my next month <laughs> in the bullet journal So of course we're going to start with my TBR page and this is a rain theme page. It uh, basically what you'll notice is I start with rain and then it kind of goes into the rainbow and then it continues on that weather pattern. Um, now I created kind of a graph here that shows all of the books that I intend to read uh, for my TBR and then I have space to add in any books that I uh, end up reading through like mood reads or things I pick up from the library or random audiobooks that I read. And you'll see at the far right here, I've written owned versus borrowed, uh, the format of the book. So whether it's a um, audio book, a physical book, um, or maybe a graphic novel, then I have um, the way in which I'm going to rate these books. So that is content, creativity, and engagement. And then from there, I'll take the average, and that will be the uh, score that I give Goodreads. Now, if it is like a 3.5, that'll go up to a 4. Anything below the 5 will then put it to like the 3. So that's how I'll kind of combat the fact that uh, Goodreads only does whole numbers. Uh, you'll see I kind of put some books on here already, um, books I have already read, books I'm in the process of reading, and um, so on and so forth.
So this is like my own bingo card, meaning I am trying to get bingo with myself. <laughs> uh, basically, there are certain kinds of books that I would like to make sure I'm reading throughout the month. And by doing it this way, I feel like it's just a little bit more fun. Plus, um, it gives me the opportunity to, to see and make sure that I am actually reading the books that I'm setting my mind to read. Um, and you'll see here, um, I will actually write in what I intend to um, challenge myself to each month. And this could change month by month. I might see that I have like a pocket that I'm missing um, and want to switch up uh, the bingo box. So here you'll notice there's a bit of a wardrobe change, or if you noticed at all, uh, my camera died. So I had to go ahead and charge that and come back on a different day to finish up the bullet journal. So here I am putting in the bingo boxes that I'm hoping to um, mark off each month. I have a diverse voice box, nonfiction, readathon, a buddy read, owned book of my 21, classic, audiobook, and a graphic novel. Now, like I said, I will probably change these throughout the year, but I really want to try to make sure that I am reading diverse voices, that I'm reading nonfiction and not just fiction books. I want to participate in readathons and buddy reads. Of course, I want to read more of my own books. I want to get my 21 books read. I also want to make sure I'm always reading a classic because that's really important to me. And the audiobook and graphic novel really could be interchangeable. I'm not really concerned about those, um, but I just at the time wasn't thinking of too many other options. So that was what I put in for this month. I very well can change that for next month. So here we have our posting schedule. I, um, seeing that this is almost the end of January, this one won't be as filled in as a typical month. I'm hoping to start my February um, bullet journal pretty soon here, so that one will definitely have more written in. Um, but again, following that weather pattern after a rainbow, we have some sunshine. So I did uh, some suns for my posting schedule, and you can see that I made it very rectangular. So I had to make boxes that would carry two different days, just because I didn't make the calendar to true size of like it starts on a Friday. I just kind of like slashed the dates and made it a double date, which is fine. <laughs>
what I did do here is every Thursday I do my rapid reviews, so that's what those RRs are. R R R R R. <laughs> and then of course I always post on Tuesdays and Saturdays with the new uh, live videos on the third Saturday. Lastly, I had a notes page. Again, similar to that ideas page. Notes are um, different elements that I wanted to remember from each month. Uh, perhaps there's a readathon that I really liked and I want to keep my eyes open for next year. Or maybe there was a book that a booktuber recommended. I am terrible about writing down um, or remembering who has recommended a book and I wanted to make sure that I remembered those things. So I created this notes page uh, for that reason. So it'll just be kind of a mishmash of things that I thought of throughout the month that I really want to remember um, and come back to either each month or uh, for next year uh, as I am making more plans for my channel and my reading. And here we are, a final run through of the bullet journal. Again, I'm no artist, but I really like how it turned out. It's colorful and really includes all of the stuff that I was hoping it would at this point. I can make alterations as I go and add ideas if I need to. I love how Carl Fro turned out, it was really great. And that bingo board, I really hope that that helps me stay on track, especially that posting schedule. Well, until next time, guys, I hope you are taking care and staying safe and, of course, reading something great. You all know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye! time on Spinelli Speaks. I really have not yet collected all of my thoughts on this book. Now the book that I'm going to be reviewing today is 100 Years of Solitude by Gabrielle Garcia Marquez. 